Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today we're talking about goals. We are going to go through my 2023 goals. I'm going to let you know if I achieved those goals and if not, why? And we're also going to set some goals for 2024 and we are going to complete my vision board. I'm so excited for my vision board for 2024. I have a lot of goals in mind for the new year. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload five videos every week and I have some really great content coming your way in the new year. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for additional support, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Treat yourself to macros and calories for the new year. That is how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss. It really truly is a complete, complete game changer. So definitely invest in yourself for the new year. I'll also have links for my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free and it is a supportive, amazing community that would love to have you. So let's jump into 2023 goals, 2024 goals, and to this year's vision board. I'm really excited for the new year. I have some pretty exciting goals set for myself for the new year in all aspects of my life, whether it be health related, job related, personal growth related, financial related. I have so many exciting goals for the new year. Now, every year I complete my vision board. So this is my vision board. I actually bought this on Amazon a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, maybe even four when I lived in Washington. It is a dry erase type of vision board. So you can erase it and start over over every single year. So I have good news and bad news. This particular vision board is no longer available on Amazon or it's currently unavailable. You know how things kind of come and go on Amazon. The good news is that there are there's a paper version of this vision board, like a notepad style, and there's also a magnetic one for your fridge. And I actually think that that's really cool, whether it goes on your fridge or a filing cabinet or really any metal surface, you still get the great vision board that's in the actual kind of wall hanging one. Now, I will also link any other vision boards I can find on Amazon that are similar. So if you are looking for the dry erase style, I'll give you a few options. So all of that will be linked down below for you. We are going to fill in my vision board for 2024 here together. But before we do, let's talk about 2023. So on my vision board are all of my goals for 2023. I actually did an entire goals video last year. I'll link it down below if you're interested in seeing what my 2022 goals were versus my 2023 and kind of what evolved from those goals. But let's kind of go through the 2023 goals. I'll let you know how I did. So my focus word for 2023 was the word consistency. That was because I was in the stage in my weight loss journey and my health journey where I needed to not only be consistent with my food to finish out my weight loss and maintain that weight loss, but I also wanted to become really consistent with moving my body in regular exercise. That was the perfect word for me for 2023. I couldn't have done consistency better last year in every aspect. So I'm really proud of myself for that. Now the next little section says thankful for. And what I put for last year was I was thankful for my health, my family, and for Arizona. So I have been blessed with amazing health this last year. I've been blessed with an amazing family. If you didn't know, we did lose our lab diesel in March of 2023. So that was a pretty big blow to our family. We definitely miss him. I was just emotional about him yesterday. So it's definitely gotten better as the year has went on, but it's still a really sensitive subject for us. So I am, so I'm extra grateful for the family that I have, my husband, Lola and Palmer. And then as you know, we love living in Arizona. We will actually be here two years in March. That's so crazy to me. Really, truly, it was the best decision we could have made. We love our home. We love the community that we live in. We love that it's sunny over 300 days a year here. We love that it's warm. I mean, it's 67 today in the middle of De at the end of December. So I'm so grateful for Arizona. Truly, truly grateful that we made the decision to move. And then the next section of my vision board is things that I'm dreaming of, things that I'm manifesting. And last year I was dreaming of my next vacation as well as being my strongest self. One of the things, one of the non-scale victories for me after losing 140 pounds is being able to vacation comfortably, not just in the plane. I mean, I can cross my legs, button my seatbelt, buckle my seatbelt, and I have this much extra seatbelt, but also being able to 
to just vacation comfortably in general, walking around without being miserable at the end of the day, being able to do things that I would have never done 140 pounds ago. So for me, travel has become a very important part of my life. It was one of my main goals for 2023 and spoiler alert, it's going to continue to be a goal for me moving into 2024. And then I also wanted to become basically my strongest self, really work on my fitness. And I definitely did that in 2023. I am very consistent with going to the gym, lifting weights. I had a DEXA scan about a month ago. I did a whole video on my DEXA scan and the results of that. I'll link that video for you if you missed it. It also has updates on what am I doing? Am I still doing Weight Watchers? What am I doing as far as weight loss? Kind of what are my goals in that area? So I'll link that video if you missed it. But based on those results, I have become my strongest self in 2023. And I just want to carry that into the new year. And then we have a little section in the middle where we can proclaim something, not a word of the year, but just something that we really want to strive for in that year. And for me in 2023, it was to become lean and strong. Now I did technically reach what is probably the goal weight for my body in 2023, which means that I became lean. And like I said, I am my strongest self right now, my fittest self right now. And I'm really, really proud of those two things. And then at the bottom of the vision board, it gives you the option to set categories of goals or just goals in general. I like to break my goals down by category because it allows me to be a little bit more focused. So my categories for last year and what will be my categories for this year are going to be health, YouTube. If you didn't know this and nutrition and weight loss coaching is my full-time job. So basically this is my career section, my personal goals, and then my coaching goals. Again, I am a weight loss and nutrition coach for almost three years now. And I always like to set specific goals when it comes to coaching and helping you guys. So first let's talk about the health section for 2023. So my my first goal was to maintain my weight. Moving into 2023, I didn't have a lot of weight left to lose. So my goal was to lose that last little bit of weight and then be able to maintain that successfully through the year while gaining lean muscle, while becoming stronger. And I did just that. If you watch my weekly Friday weigh-ins, I pretty much, my weight fluctuates. I go up, I go down, but overall at the end of the year, I did a fantastic job maintaining my weight. I actually am down a few pounds over the course of the year and have seamlessly maintained that. And that's really been because I eat enough. I ate enough to lose weight. I eat enough to maintain my weight. I move my body. I follow, I make healthy choices. It's really been a good year for me. And that goal, I killed it in 2023. My next goal was to work out five days per week. So my goal in 2022 was three days a week. So I wanted to bump that up, push myself a little bit for five days a week. And I consistently did that. The only time that I didn't work out necessarily five days a week is when I was traveling. I still worked out. You guys know, I just went to a conference in November. I did a 5k while I was there. So I make sure when I travel that I'm still moving my body, but sometimes I can't commit to the five times a week of working out. But when I'm home, girls working out five to even six times a week. My next goal was to build lean muscle. And we talked about this with my DEXA scan that showed that indicated that I have done just that. I truly have the most lean muscle that I've ever had in my entire life on my body. And that makes me so happy. My goal losing weight was never to be skinny. I never wanted to be skinny. I wanted to lose enough weight that I can move my body, lean down enough that when I worked my booty off in the gym and built muscle, you could see it. That was my goal from the get-go. And that is the goal that I achieved and that I'm continuing with in the new year. And then lastly, I wanted to be a little bit more whole food focused. Now I feel like I was 75, 25 with this. I didn't do as well as I wanted to do starting out the year, but that is going to be a goal just in a little bit different way for me moving into the new year, because I really have some, like I said, lofty fitness and health and body goals that I'm going to need to really focus more on whole food. So I'm shooting for more like a 95% in 2024. Now the next category is my career category, which again for me is YouTube and coaching. So on my main channel here, which used to be Jen's WW journey, I did change it this last year to Jen Clay for multiple reasons. My goal here on Jen Clayton in 2023 was to reach 60,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get there. I'm sitting right about 55,000, so I'm pretty far off of the goal that I set for myself. I really thought with the success that I've had with weight loss, all, the, all of the great tidbits that I have to share on my journey and helping you got, and helping you, I thought that I would be able to reach the 60,000, and unfortunately, I didn't quite make it. So I'm really hoping for my channel to maybe grow a little bit more this next year. I'm not sure exactly what I need to do to make it grow more, but I'm really going to focus on the growth here on Jen Clayton. And then I also have a nutrition channel called Jen Clayton Nutrition. That channel is 
specific to nutrition. We talk all about diet culture. We talk all about how to lose weight in a sustainable way. We debunk diet myths. It's a really great educational channel that actually pairs perfectly with this one. So if you're interested in more nutrition-based content, I highly recommend Jen Clayton Nutrition. And my goal for 2023 was to reach 8,000 subscribers on that channel, and I did it. I actually am just under 8,100 as of today, and I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful that that channel has grown. And in fact, so many of you have left me comments saying you love that channel, that it's really helped you, and that is exactly why I do it. So I'm really happy to say that I was able to reach my goal on my nutrition channel. And lastly, I have a beauty channel. Now, I love makeup, I love skincare, I love hair, I love anything in the beauty industry. I used to talk about that a little bit more here on this channel, but I really wanted to focus this channel on health and weight loss. So I started my beauty channel about a year and a half ago. It is called Budget Beauty and I love it. It's such a fun channel for me. It's just all of my passion with beauty and skincare that I can make videos on and you guys seem to really love it as well. So if you are a makeup lover, if you love makeup content, definitely subscribe. But my goal for that channel was to hit 6,000 subscribers. And in last year's video, I said that was a really, 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 really lofty goal. Like most likely wasn't gonna happen and it didn't happen. I am just over 4,000 subscribers on that channel, which I'm grateful for every single one of those. So I knew setting that goal may be a little bit out of reach and, and it was. So I'm going to set a little bit more reasonable goal this year. Still a goal that I really have to strive for, but a reasonable goal. So if you love this channel, I would really love and appreciate your support on both Jen Clayton Nutrition and Budget Beauty. I'll have both my other channels down below for you. Help me reach my goals in the new year. And of course, if you didn't know, there is an option to share either YouTube videos or YouTube channels. There's a little share button right under the video. If you know somebody on a health journey, a weight loss journey that would love nutrition or makeup content, please share my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And like I said, help me grow a little bit more in the new year. And you know that on this channel, whenever I hit a big milestone of subscribers, we do a huge giveaway and that will continue into 2024 as well. Now the next category is my personal category. And the first thing in bold big letters was travel. Like I said, that has been a goal since I've lost my weight. I can travel a lot easier and it's just much more enjoyable. So I definitely traveled in 2023. I took several trips. There were months that I was taking a trip every single month. It was pretty back-to-back -back through the year. I went to Hawaii. I went to Texas, San Diego, New Orleans. I had an amazing year of travel and I can't wait to do more in the new year. My next personal goal was financial related and that was to double my savings account. Now we didn't quite double our savings account, but we grew our savings account and I'm so grateful for that. I definitely want to take our finances to a different level in the new year. And so that's going to be one of my goals when it comes to personal and finances, but I'm so thankful that we were able to grow our savings account throughout 2023. The next goal was to be more involved in the community. Now, I definitely didn't do as well at this as I wanted to do. I didn't really make a big effort to find ways to be involved in the community, mainly because of lack of time. I, I work a lot. The time that it takes me to film these videos on and to manage three channels as well as coaching is a lot. It doesn't leave a lot of extra time outside of working out for me to do other things. Now I still have this as a goal. I still would like to become a little bit more involved in the community, but because I'm part of a community boot camp, I also joined a weightlifting gym. I'm meeting more people in my community, which I'm hoping will lead to more community focused things. We did sponsor a family for Christmas this year in my boot camp group. Give back to the community whenever I can, but it's still a goal for me in the new year. This one I utterly failed at, and that was my goal was to only purchase two eyeshadow palettes per month. Now, outside of what comes in the beauty subscription boxes that I pay and subscribe to every month, just what I'm purchasing out of pocket, I wanted to limit that to two per month. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I just did a ranking all of the palettes that I tried in 2023 and I did, I had over a hundred. So, now granted, I didn't buy all of those. A lot of those came in subscription boxes, but I did buy a lot of them. Definitely way outside of the two palettes per month. Clearly that's not reasonable for me. Eyeshadow palettes are my favorite makeup along with highlight. Those are my favorite makeup products. And it's just really hard for me not to buy things that excite me. So that goal, that's the one goal I utterly failed at. But really, really, I'm not mad about it. Moving over into the last category of goals for last year, what for 2023 was coaching goals. So I started all access coaching in 2023. And basically what that is, is you have access to me 
24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You check in with me weekly. I help you with workouts, with dieting, with setting macro goals. It's basically a very involved one-on-one -on -one style of coaching, more than just a call, just an all access, all well-rounded coaching. My goal last year was to have 10 all access clients. Now I still have all access coaching clients, but I've kind of moved away from that a little bit for multiple reasons. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in 2024's goals, but I feel like overall, all access coaching went really well. It is still a service that I offer and the information is in my Facebook group if you're interested or leave me a comment down below and I can commun and I can chat with you about all access coaching for the new year if you're interested. I will tell you that my clients killed it last year. The ones that had that support killed it. So I am still offering it. I'm just not setting a number of client goal. And my last coaching goal was to create a Macros 101 ebook. Now I kind of shifted away from this goal this last year and instead of doing an ebook I actually offered a Macros 101 course. It was for 6 weeks and we deep dove into macros. I offered that course twice last year and it was amazing both times. We had a huge 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 turnout. It basically was a course over the it was a course of 6 sessions, 6 weeks on Zoom where we talked all through macros and how to use macros to reach your weight loss goals. I will 100% be doing that course once, if not twice in the new year. I do talk about that course in my Facebook group. So definitely join us if you're not part of it. That's really where I share all of these exciting opportunities for you and really where you can keep up with me more day to day. Facebook and Instagram, are the key places to be to spend a little bit more time with me throughout the year. So those were my 2023 goals. Overall, I'm really proud of myself for what I did in 2023. I met most of my goals. I mean, there were a couple that I fell a little bit short of, some I have control over, some I don't, but I'm really proud of myself for what I did last year and I'm really, really excited for my 2024 goals. have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be so with that being said, let's jump into what I'm planning for 2024. I don't know if you can see how excited I am. I'm really, 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 truly excited for this new year. So let's start with my 2024 word of the year. Now this is one that I really thought long and hard about. I wanted something that was more about my life, my lifestyle, rather than just specific to health or fitness or weight loss. I wanted it to be more about my life. And the word that I chose is definitely what I want to do in 24, 2024, and that is the word elevate. My word of the year is elevate. Elevate every aspect of my life. My business, my health, my fitness, my family, my finances, everything. I want to just elevate myself in 2024. That word, it kind of gives me goosebumps because it is just all encompassing of my goals for the new year. Now the things that I'm thankful for really haven't changed. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm still thankful for my family. One thing I'm thankful for is you guys, is my community here on YouTube, my Facebook group, my Instagram. You guys are so amazing. I am so blessed, beyond blessed to have such a supportive, positive, just overwhelmingly beautiful community and I am so incredibly thankful for each and every one of you. Really truly thankful. And I'm also thankful for my friends. I'm really thankful for the friends that I built here in Arizona. That was something I was really scared about moving here knowing absolutely no one with the exception of my in-laws and I've been able to grow and cultivate some amazing friends here and I'm so thankful for them because they keep me going. They help me with my health journey. They bring me so much joy outside of my family that I just, I'm so incredibly blessed. You guys are my friends so I'm thankful for you, my community, my health, my family. I just have so much to be thankful for. And then moving over to what I'm dreaming of in 2024. This was hard for me this year. I feel like I'm dreaming of the same things all the time. I'm always wanting a new vacation. I'm always wanting my next trip. I'm always wanting to be my strongest, leanest self. But what I decided on for this category for 2024 is I'm dreaming of growth. Growth in all aspects of my life. Kind of along the same lines as choosing elevate as my word of the year. I really want to grow. I want to grow 
grow in my fitness journey. I want to grow in my family. I want to grow with my community. I want to grow with you here on YouTube and in Facebook and on Instagram. And I want to just grow and become my true authentic self through 2024. Just the term growth is all that I'm dreaming of for the new year. And then right smack in the middle of my vision board, really my focus for 2024 is the two F's, food and fitness. That's really where I'm going to be putting a lot of energy in the new year is just embarking on both a food journey and we'll talk about this a little bit more in depth with my goals and a fitness journey as well. So let's jump right into my goals. Let's jump into the first category, which are my health goals. Goal number one, similar to last year, is my goal this year is to maintain my weight. I want to have another 12 month period, another year under my belt of maintenance. I truly feel that if I can maintain my weight for another year, then everything that I've worked towards healing my relationship with food, working on my fitness, moving my body, drinking my water, focusing on real whole food is all worth it. It, our end goal when we lose weight is not to gain it all back. We don't want to be on the diet culture, diet cycle over and over. Our goal is to lose the weight and keep it off. And if I can maintain my weight for another year, I feel like I have all the tools in place to maintain my weight life long. And that is the ultimate goal. I can't wait to go into this year and complete this year with another full 12 months of maintenance. My second health goal is lean muscle. So this is where I have some news to share, a little bit of an announcement. You know that I hired a fitness coach about three months ago, and we have decided that starting January 1, so tomorrow, I'm going to go into anywhere from about an eight week to a 12 week cut. Basically what this means is being in a calorie deficit again. As you know, I've been really working towards just maintenance calories, being able to maintain my weight. But I really want to go into this cut at the beginning of the year to see what I can do with this body. Am I able to shed a little bit more fat? Am I able to lean down a little bit more? So when I go back into maintenance in eight to 12 weeks, I can really build that lean muscle and become stronger than ever, leaner, stronger, healthier than ever. So with my cut, I will be going back back into a calorie deficit, a mild calorie deficit. And the ultimate goal of this eight to 12 week period is to shed as much excess fat as possible. We don't know exactly how much excess fat I have. I mean, I do have a little bit that I could lose, maybe five pounds, maybe seven pounds, 10 pounds. We'll just kind of see what the cut does. So with my cut, I have a very specific diet. I have specific macros that I'm trying to reach. I have specific foods that I'm trying to, that I need to focus on, which are mainly whole real food. There's not a lot of processed foods. There's not a lot of snacky food, sweet treats, and things like that in my eight to 12 week cut. I do still get one treat meal per week. So I am able to still go out to dinner and that includes an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert if I choose. So I'm still eat, going to be living a normal life, a normal lifestyle. But on the day today, I'm going to try to be in a minor deficit to see what this body can do in the next eight to 12 weeks. Really focus on getting into the gym for cardio, really focus on getting into the gym for strength training and seeing what I can cut from my body over that period. Now we are not meant to be in a calorie deficit forever. There should be moments that you go to maintenance. Even if you're trying to lose weight, there should be cut periods and there should be maintenance periods. This is something I want to focus on with my coaching clients as well in the new year is taking them out of a deficit constantly and allowing their body a chance for maintenance and a chance to boost metabolism back up. So when we go into a cut, you're really successful. And that's what I've been doing is maintaining, working on fire up my metabolism so when I do cut tomorrow and for 8 to 12 weeks my metabolism is working at its fullest peak which should give me the best results in the cut and as weird as it sounds I'm actually really excited about it I mean who's excited to be in a cut in a calorie deficit me because I want to see what my body can do in the next 8 to 12 weeks I'm really really excited about it and after those eight to 12 weeks, I'll go back into maintenance. And then there's a possibility that I may cut again at the end of the year. Like I said, that should be the cycle where you're in a deficit and you're not in a deficit. You're in a deficit and you're not in a deficit. That is a healthy way to lose weight and maintain your weight loss. So 
I have a cut coming up, stay tuned. You'll be hearing all about it in my weigh-in videos on Fridays. You'll see what I'm eating in my what I eat in a day videos, what supplements I'm taking, and how I'm navigating the next eight to 12 weeks that I'm really excited about. Now I could go on and on about my cut. If you guys are interested in a whole video of how I'm navigating a cut and exactly what that means, let me know in the comments and I can definitely film that video for you. My next health goal is to be out in nature more. I live in the most beautiful place. I, it's beautiful here. The weather is beautiful. The cacti are beautiful. There's mountains everywhere. There is so many amazing hikes in this area. There is a place called Madera Canyon that is literally 10 minutes from me that has the most amazing hikes. I've been told that when you're there, you feel like you're in the Pacific Northwest, which is where we moved from versus the desert. And I have never hiked there. I've never taken a hike there. So my goal in 2024 is to be out in nature more. I plan on hiking to Mamak Hill more. I wanna do Picachu Peak again. I want to do Madera Canyon. There's Mount Lemon, which is about an hour away. I would love to make my way into Apache Junction and hike Superstition Mountain, which was my dad's favorite place before he passed away. I just wanna be in nature more. I want to take advantage of living in the desert in a warm climate in 2024. And lastly for health, I'm really going to focus on the 80-20 rule. Last year I said whole food focus. This year I'm setting numbers to that. 80% whole real food, 20% fun food. This is outside of my cut. So this is when I'm back into maintenance. I still wanna enjoy my life. I'm never going to diet again. I'm never going to be in diet culture again. Never, ever, ever going to do that again. I'm going to do what's sustainable. And that means having an 80-20 approach to my diet. 80% on track, whole real food. 20% a treat meal every week where I have an appetizer, dessert, and a fun meal like a burger, pizza, or whatever sounds good. Uh, on a side note, I do not track my treat meal every week. So it's in addition to the calories that I normally consume. So I'm in a real, I'm going to really focus on 80, 20. Again, you guys will hear a lot about that in my upcoming videos. Now moving into my YouTube goals, I still wanted to set myself some pretty lofty goals for all three of my channels, but I wanted to be able to make, to attain these goals maybe a little bit easier than last year. As you know, I fell short on two out of the three YouTube goals that I have. And unfortunately with YouTube, you don't have control over these goals. So I don't have control on whether I reach my YouTube goals, but I can still set myself achievable goals, but challenging goals. So here on Jen Clayton, my goal is to hit 70,000 subscribers, basically meaning that I would need to gain about 15,000 subscribers over the course of the year. Now, I think that that is attainable, but I also think that that's a little bit of a stretch, which is what goals should be. They should be something we have to really work for, but also something that's attainable so that we're not setting ourselves up for failure right out of the gate. So 70,000 subs for 2024. And over on Jen Clayton Nutrition, I would love to hit 10,000. That's a huge, huge milestone. That would mean that I would need to gain about 2,000 subscribers over the course of the year. I definitely think that's attainable since I was able to hit my 2023 goal on my Jen Clayton Nutrition channel. And then with my Budget Beauty channel, I thought long and hard about this, and I'm going to carry over my goal from last year, my 6,000 subscriber goal, which would be a couple thousand subscriber gain in 2024. And I knew setting that goal for last year, like I said, was pretty out of reach, but I think I can do it this year. And again, share my channels. It really means a lot to me. If you subscribe, please make sure you're subscribed to my nutrition channel, my beauty channel, and share them with anybody who you think would enjoy my content. So I'm stretching myself a little bit, again, because I don't have control over that, but I'm hoping to put out the best content ever in 2024 where people are just going to have to subscribe to those channels. And one other career-related thing when it comes to my YouTube channels is I would like to work with more sponsored content, basically meaning paid videos. This is how I make an income. This is how I support my family. This is how I live in this house, is the content that I provide on YouTube. And I've also shared multiple times that YouTube itself does not pay very much. I don't make a lot of money on YouTube. Where I can actually make an income outside of my coaching business is with sponsored content. So I want to work with more brands that I love this next year. I want to find new brands, new products that I love and be able to share that with you. Sponsored content is not only how I support my bills and my how I support myself and my family, but it's also how I can continue to put out content here for you. So I appreciate you understanding that sponsored content is what every single creator 
strives for and what every single creator relies on for income. So I'd like to do a little bit more than I did this last year, but only working with brands and products that I truly, truly love. Now moving into personal goals. I have a big personal goal. We talked about my eyeshadow palette goal from last year, how I did not reach that goal. One of my main goals for 2024 in all aspects of my life is to lower overall consumption, lower just random things that I'm purchasing. I don't need anything. I don't need anything. I need to work through number one, all of the makeup that I have and skincare that I have. This closet back here is full of backup skincare and makeup. Before I buy any new makeup and skincare, I need to use what I have. And that goes with all of the other things in my home. I'm definitely a stalker upper. I like to buy things in bulk. I like to always have things on hand, but what, but that becomes out of control sometimes. I can't tell you how many Bath and Body Works lotions that I have. I need to work through what I have and that is a big, big, big goal for me in 2024 is to consume less overall. Really, really work through what I have. And then obviously when I run out of product, I'll repurchase, but I'm not going to over consume. I am not going to over consume. I'm keeping traveling on my per list of personal goals. Now, I don't know if I'll be traveling as much this year as I did last year. One other thing is my other sweet dog, Lola, my, my baby, my bestie was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer in 2023. It was, it was a rough few months in 2023. She went through a five month round of chemo and she's doing amazing, amazing. Knock on wood. She's been in remission now for over eight months. She's healthy. She's happy, but I don't know what's going to happen in 2024. So although I have a few trips planned, I have a trip in February, March, and then I am going to Hawaii in November. And there's one other trip that I'll be taking in October to a conference. I'm trying to leave it a little more open because my priority is her. No matter what my priority is her, not only for her health, but I just want to spend as much time with her as I can. She's almost 12 years old. And like I said, she's my best friend. I love her with every fiber of my soul. And I just want to really focus on her this next year. I still want to travel, but I'm going to make her my priority. My next personal goal, and this is a big one, and this is to stop working at 3 p.m. every single day. No more, co no coaching calls past 3 p.m. my time, shutting my computer down, leaving my office and going and spending time with my family at 3 p.m. every day. That is my goal. I spend a lot of time creating content. I could work 15, 16 hours a day if I let myself. And I need to focus more on me in 2024, just on my overall health and happiness. And like I said, my family is a goal this year. Lola is a goal this year. I want to do more things with Troy. I want to have more date nights. I want to go out to dinner more. I want to take our dogs for short walks together. I want to focus on him and helping him navigate his health issues as well. So I'm going to stop working every day in 2024. 3 p.m. my time. And lastly, for personal goals, last year I talked about my savings account. This year, we are setting up financial planning. We are going to meet with an investor. We're going to talk about retirement. We're going to set up retirement accounts. We're going to place our money in accounts that will benefit us as we continue to age. Troy turned 50 in 2023, and it kind of lit a fire under us to really focus on financial planning. So we have an appointment to meet with a financial planner, and that's going to be a big goal for us. If you guys are interested in hearing about maybe our financial planning journey, let me know. I'd be happy to incorporate that into a video as well. And last but not least is coaching. So this is the other side of my business is coaching. I am a weight loss and nutrition coach. Like I said, I've been a weight loss and nutrition coach for almost three years. And part of my goals for 2024 is to really focus on group coaching. So my first group coaching starts January 7th. So it is not too late for you to join if you're interested. This is a six week course. We're going to have a focus or a topic to discuss each week. And the rest of the time is for you to get coaching, for you to ask your questions, for me to help you navigate your weight loss journey, whether it's Weight Watchers or macros and calories or whatever you're doing for weight loss. It's your chance to have coaching with me directly for a much more affordable price, about half of what it costs for individual one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I would love to do more group coaching sessions in 2024, more six-week sessions. But like I said, it's not too late to sign up for the current one. I'll have all the information in the description box. There's also a post on my Facebook group and a post on the community tab here on YouTube discussing group coaching and laying it all out, letting you know how, what the cost is and how it works. So my focus for this year is 100% group coaching because it's an affordable way for me to help you reach your goals. And then I'm really excited about my other coaching goal. 
really excited. I know you guys are going to be excited about this as well. And that is to create a protein ebook. I'm so excited about this. I already have all these things roaming around in my head of what I want to put in this ebook, but I want to focus it on everything protein, protein recipes, protein supplements, how I get in my protein every day, really, truly just everything and anything protein related, mainly focusing on recipes. How, what types of recipes can you create? How can you build meals to reach your protein goal? This is the number one question I get asked from my coaching clients is I have a hard time reaching my protein goal. Help me. So that's what I'm going to do this year. I want to really spend time on this ebook. So I'm imagining that it will come out mid year. I want to make it beautiful and easy to navigate through and just comprehensive everything and all things protein because spoiler alert, how you lose weight and keep it off is calories and protein. So I really want to focus on giving you protein resources in the new year. I'm really excited for this. Really, really excited. And by creating it in the form of an ebook that you can download, that you can print off, that you can even have spiral bound on at a printing store is the most affordable way for me to get you the information and for you to utilize it to reach your goals. I really want to help as many people as I can in the new year. And I know that focusing on protein recipes and how getting in your protein, how to get in your protein is really going to help you. And like I said, that's what makes me happy. That's what fills my heart with joy is coaching. So I can't wait for group coaching in my protein ebook. So those are my 2024 goals. I am really excited, really excited for the new year. I have a good feeling it's going to be a really good year. I'm excited for my cut. I'm excited for my ebook. I'm excited for group coaching. I'm excited to travel and just really focus on my family and my community and fitness and food. I can't wait. I, it's going to be a really, really good year. Now, don't forget everything I talked about today, including vision board options will be linked down below for you, as well as all the group coaching information, my channels, please share them, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And of course, any additional questions that you have, please leave them down in the comments. Also let us know what are your goals? What are your goals for 2024? And of course, we'll do a recap at the end of the year and we'll see how I did and we'll set some goals for 2025. That's so weird to say 2025, but I am excited for the new year. I am excited for you. I'm excited for me. Let's kill it. You guys, let's kill our goals in 2024. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your bell on and check out that description box before you head out. And of course, join my Facebook group and follow me on Instagram to keep up with me a little bit more day to day. Here's to 2024. Here's to slaying our goals.